man, this is not a game for a lot of you youngsters out there. And I don't really get, uh, especially a lot of these little millennials, man, or what you want to call them, what they're pumping their fist and spitting in the cop's face and trying to burn the flag. And I, it, it must have came from not getting enough ass whoopings when you were little kids and yelling louder than the next person to get your point across thinking you're right because you can yell louder. You know, that's not how shit gets done over here in America, man. And we told you a long time ago, when you go around and you want to play little terrorist games, you want to walk around and threaten people and, you know, think that you're, uh, you know, you, you got free reign here and you're entitled and then you're going to go back and have your little impossible burger and your latte. Dude, it don't work like that over here. Your ass is going to jail, man. And thank you for tuning in. I'm Executor Bubbles, bringing you another episode of Wonderful Wednesdays. Now, earlier this week, you know, I was watching YouTube, this guy, uh, B Tatum, and in his video, he mentioned that, you know, the YouTube algorithm has been pushing up videos and stuff with anti Trump titles. So I was like, eh, what the heck, let's test it out. So if you're here because of that, I'm sorry, but y'all got clickbaited. Honestly, though, you know, do stick around. We do share a lot of good news over here. And if you're here for the good news, don't worry about it. We got a lot of it. But before we get into that, I kind of wanted to go over this article that I read from The Independent that brought up the Facebook algorithm. Oh, hey, Norbert. Sorry about that. I was just about to introduce you, man. Oh man, I was here early this time. Early is on time, on time is late. I got it. You forgot to introduce me, man. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, you remembered that. You know, that was one of my best lessons from high school. My uh, my then band director, Mr. K, Ooh, Mr. is K. all about that. Sorry about that, though, dude. Loki forgot about you for a second. Oh. But, you know, the Facebook article got me all wound up. Yeah, jerk. <laughs> uh. Sorry, my dude. So yeah, anyway, so that, that Facebook algorithm that I was just about to talk about, you know, mm -hmm. it mentioned like some internal leaked research from 2016. So old. You know, it, follow, it was followed by a document in 2018. So old. And it mentioned some creepy stuff. It said the algorithm exploited the human brain's attraction to divisiveness. I mean, huh? you know, that means that the algorithm pushes out content that turns people against each other. You know, that's crazy. Huh? Don't you think so? What? No way! Way, bro. So, the article quoted the presentation saying, you know, our recommendation systems grow the problem. Which, huh. I think it referenced people continually to join, like, extremist groups, left or right or whatever it may be, that were encouraged by the Facebook wow. algorithm. Wow. That's horrible. Oh, boy. I don't know, man. And honestly... I don't know if that moral problem was ever addressed, huh? but hey, you know, it seems like Facebook decided to go chasing profits and uh -oh. whatever happened with that moral compass, you know, you know, I, I guess it was considered anti-growth according to the article, but 
Things are more divisive than ever these days, so I wonder if that ever got us to where we are today. Oh man, that's crazy! Huh? Hmm. Oh. Ooh, conspiracy theories. Pretty wild though. Fortunately, you know, there's still a lot of good news to be had. Seriously, we need more good news. Act yeah. the people. You got that right, people. buddy. And. You know, there's a lot of good news this week, but I think one of the most exciting stories has been the return of our two astronauts from the International Space Station. Yeah. You know, earlier in May, SpaceX successfully launched two of our American astronauts aboard um, the Dragon Crew space capsule that was uh, on top of the Falcon 9 rocket. This weekend, SpaceX has successfully returned those same two astronauts in a first water landing since 1975. Wow! Crazy! Right there with you know, this historic event, I think, marked the next era for space exploration for America and the world. You know, but let's hear a few remarks from one of the biggest geeks around there, SpaceX CEO himself, Elon Musk. My hero. Everyday heroes. From, from you know, bomb it back, Jim. Uh, but uh, I, I do think what, what this heralds really is fundamentally uh, a new era in space flight, a new era in space exploration. We're, we're gonna go to the moon, we're gonna sit, have a base on the moon, we're gonna have send people to Mars, have, and, and make life multi-planetary. And I think this, this day heralds a new age of space exploration. That's what it's all about. Uh, from people at SpaceX, people at NASA, hey Kathy, <laughs> hey, this is, I mean, so much. We're, 18 years, this has been eight, 18 years to to finally fly people to, to orbit and back. And um, I mean, I really c came here because I just wanted to see Bomb Duck, to be totally frank. <laughs> it's like, thank goodness. Um, like, my entire adrenaline it was just, just dumped, you know. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> thank God. You know? And I'm not very religious, but I prayed for this one. Um, so just once again, thanks everyone uh, at SpaceX, NASA, FAA, every, everyone, Air Force, you know, that, that play a role in, in this, and uh, it's the key suppliers um, that, that did incredible work. Thanks, thanks again, and, you know, I think this is something that the whole world can take uh, some, some uh, pleasure in and, and can really look at this as an achievement of humanity um, and there's you know th these are these difficult times when you know there's, there's not that much good news and, and I think this is one of those this is one of those th those things that is universally good no matter where you are on planet earth this is a good thing and and I hope it brightens your day thank you see that was exciting but you know what's more exciting than that? Just today, SpaceX bunny hopped like a giant grain silo over their other hopper that was unsuccessful um, with their Starship prototype. But yeah, let's take a look at what some real American excitement looks like. Oh man, here we go. We're literally within. <laughs> Are we going to see a giant grain silo fly today? It, get ready for the power slide. Yes! Okay! Here we go! Yes! Oh, it's moving! Oh, it's moving! <laughs> yes! And no one way! For man. No way! Yes! 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 See those landing legs? Yes! I saw the landing legs! Look at that! <laughs> no way! Is it standing? If this is standing, this is a big deal. Don't see any booms. No way! It freaking happened and I don't see any booms and it is standing. 
It is standing. Yes. See, wasn't that so much better than this? Nearly every night for weeks, Portland's federal courthouses come under attack. Mm -mm. The only kind of police brutality or violence like that that we should be seeing is stuff like this. Damn. Damn. <laughs> but yeah bro this past week has been an absolute achievement for humanity you know it's definitely brightened my day what do you think norbert definitely man but mr officer burned that guy hard <laughs> getting back on track though space is way cool elon musk is on fire <laughs> you think is that cool dude you're such an elon musk stan so are you, bro. What the heck, man? Eh, I didn't say I wasn't, dude. Eh. But yeah, so anyway, our next story takes us back out to Italy. Um, back in April, at the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, there were two young girls that were caught uh, playing tennis from two rooftops. You know, at that time, it was a very heartwarming, heartwarming video to see. Mm -hmm. You know, it brought a lot of joy to people all over the world. Um, but fast forward to today, and... Let's see where these two girls are now. And, you know, they, they got a special surprise put together by um, Barilla Pasta. Pasta! Let's take a look. Io sono Carla, 11 anni. Durante la quarantena abbiamo deciso di provare a palleggiare da un terrazzo all'altro. Ma non pensavamo che questo video potesse avere così tanto successo. Il mio giocatore preferito è Federer perché mi piace molto come sta in campo, è sempre concentrato. Se incontrassi Federer o gli salterei tipo addosso oppure rimarrei un po' imbambolata. Sì, però per chiedere gli autografi a Federer devi fargli il segno, tu non sai parlare lo svizzero. Se dovessi prendere ad esempio un colpo da Roger, credo che prenderei il suo rovescio. Vorrei avere eh, l'eleganza di Federer nel gioco, però la forza di Nadal. Sì che Nadal e Federer sono due nemici comunque. Sì, però hanno anche un'amicizia tra loro. Tutte le volte che si sono giocati contro. Ciao, ero la già Vittoria. Come stai? <ride> C'è Federer sul nostro terrazzo. Shall we play it or no? Eh? <laughs> Gioca a tennis con noi. C'è incredibile. Io, io, io svengo. No, no! C'è Federer sul nostro terrazzo. Quello forte. <laughs> Ragazzi, questa qua è la racchetta di Federer. E non questo è Federer. <laughs> Stiamo andando a giocare con Federer, ve lo giuro. Non ci credo. Shall we have some fun? Ready to play? Yeah? Here we go. It's amazing here on the rooftop. macchina. Shall we grab some lunch? Some pasta? Adesso stiamo per andare a mangiare con lui a pranzo. Hello. <laughs> Personally for me that was a, a very special moment in, in my career as a tennis player to surprise a fan or children like I was able to with Carola and Vittoria today. Grazie. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. <laughs> was great and I've played in many cool places around the world but this one is definitely up there for me as a, as a special experience. 
that showed that we can play it anywhere and have fun with it. So I had the best time, honestly. Ve lo giuro, è vero, eh. Non è un manichino, giuriamo. No manichino. Ciao Carola and Vittoria, it's Roger here and surprises are not over yet. I happen to know a really good summer camp uh, that is maybe perfect for you two girls. And uh, I have spoken to the Rafa Nadal Academy and Beryl and I would like to send you there. So why don't you start packing? Enjoy it. Ciao. Ah, oh, geez, man. Seeing things like that, you know, really touches the heart. Don't you think so? Yeah, man, that was so wholesome. Federer is my favorite tennis player, but this takes him from a legend to a shiny legend. <laughs> All right, but. that was nerdy. But, um, yeah, man, you know, that wholesome content, it's so wholesome. It's like, tickles your heart. What a loser. <laughs> During the pandemic, a lot of plans were ruined, you know, and especially for those that wanted to get married this year. But this super cute couple from the Philippines found a way that was just so creative that we had to share it with you. Let's take a look, guys. Hey, we're on our way to the Avenger Hospital to give a face mask and PPE to the uh, frontliners. I, I call it uh, hashtag wedding with a purpose. <laughs> There's an urgency in us that we wanted to get married. I'm not sure if it was triggered by the lockdown or the quarantine. Not seeing each other. Uh, we're not seeing each other. We're just doing <laughs> video calls. There's been a realization that we should we should be married by this time, if not for the coronavirus. When we look into us, or we discover two major things concerning marriage. God is the of marriage. With all honesty, it was uh, less worries, less stress. You may not kiss and embrace your right party. They were able to witness the, yeah. the ceremony <laughs> through the technology that we had. And for me, it was perfect. It's a blessing amidst it's a blessing. pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Here in the Philippines, there's a lot of appreciation for our frontliners. I just wanted to honor God with our marriage. JCI Philippines, if you're out there listening, these two, I think, would make amazing JCI members. I call on you to reach out to them. Aloha. We felt so blessed seeing them uh, with their ha happy faces, their smiles, greeting us, happy wedding, and uh, that's a bonus after the wedding. We're just so happy. Wow, Norbert. You know, I think that's one of the most selfless things I've seen since this pandemic. And there's mm -hmm. just been so many, you know. But for them two to take their super special one moment and sharing with healthcare frontliners, that was beautiful. Yeah, so wholesome, bro. Wholesome indeed, man. Wholesome indeed. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, mm -hmm. that brings us to the end of today's show. 
Um, if you like what we've been putting out, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below. Leave us a nice comment. Uh, share this video. All three of those things would be great. Um, but yeah, you know, every week we celebrate all of you guys out there, the good people in this world. And moving forward, Norbert and I, we're still looking forward to, you know, doing these same kinds of things. But we really want to get out there and see what we can do to help you guys maybe take a look around in your neighborhoods to see if there's anything you guys can do. If you guys want to do it, you know, I think it's good Let's to get more positivity out there. But if you do want to send us any uh, I, or for any ideas or whatever... Uh, you can email us at stories at ebubbleshi.com. Email and, us. You know, as always, if you want to see more of this kind of videos, please hit the notification bell down below to get notified ding when ding. a new video comes out. And as I always say every week, there's no angry way to say bubbles. So thank you for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you all Bubble. next week for Bubble. another episode of Wonderful Wednesdays. Aloha. Bye-bye. Cut.